Have you ever gotten questions like people are asking you why do you have five Captain America, six Black Widow, seven Thor, eight Hulk, nine Spider-Man or even ten Iron Man? Well, I've gotten that too many times. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome back for another special video because today i would like to tackle the questions why do i need to buy so many figures of the same characters and basically they look the same well i used to you know forgive them for their ignorance because they are not a collector or maybe not even a marvel or dc fans um, because to us as a collectors yeah they do look the same you know spider-man how much different can it be but they are different in a way especially even for someone like captain america is is different in every movie maybe the suit looks practically the same but they are just different to us as a collector or even a fans so yes i do end up buying almost every iterations of the captain america or even black widow because to me they are different at least from a different movie but before i get further into it let's check it out so let's start with the obvious which is the Chris Evans Captain America from the MCU as you can see uh, I think I have almost gotten each and every one of it uh, it's about seven of it if I'm not wrong and uh, I think I have six out of it which is all from the SH figures and as you can see they are looking rather uh, identical I can't blame Bandai for doing that because they are just following the movie accuracy so this is all the 6 Captain America that I have from the MCU So now the question is, do you think that this is a little bit too much? Uh, now when I look at it, uh, yeah <laughs> Maybe I'm not such a big fan of Captain America after all But um, yeah, looking at it now, it's all almost identical Even the accessory that comes with them is almost the same The interchangeable head is almost the same as well Of course, this have the custom head so it looks pretty good uh, but after all <laughs> yeah I think that uh, we don't need all this Captain America just to remind us of Chris Evans great performance and next I'll move on to this Black Widow which <laughs> again like Captain America I think I have uh, actually gotten almost all of it if I'm not mistaken which I don't really remember how many is it in the market right now but i think uh yeah so as you can see again they are all from the sh figures and of course they are all from the different movie and they are all looking pretty much similar except for this one in white which is the special one of course so here again you can see all the different iterations of black widow and this back the question again do you really need so many black widow uh i think this is actually slightly better than captain america because you do see quite a significant difference when it comes to the costume except for these two which is quite similar but then again yeah is scarlett johansson and yeah so it looks rather similar so i would say that yeah probably can just choose one or two for your collections not necessarily getting all of them and next i'll move on to thor even though i do not have as many as compared to captain america or even the black widow but uh, they do look very different as compared to the other two just now so as you can see uh yeah the very first versions of thor from the shv gods is looking very different then of course eventually it looks almost the same even for this one he just looks fatter but once i add in the main facts yep so this starting to look a bit redundant because these three are from the shv quads and now i do have the main facts as well the counterpart and <laughs> it starts to look a bit redundant because these two is the same from the same movie but they are from different brands and i can even add up to another one which is from the marvel legends so i have like three factor <laughs> uh, from three different brands so is this uh redundance a little bit too much unnecessary uh yes <laughs> i would say yes so um definitely you can cut off 
uh, some others to make place for the other like I can get rid of these two from the SHV Guas I will keep these two Mayfax because this one does allow interchangeable arms which will make him look different and yeah maybe I don't need the Marvel Legends as well even though the Hayscout looks pretty awesome and moving up next is I think this one I have the most which is the Iron Man okay so I have quite a lot of Iron Man I think probably more than 10 uh, no I think it's mostly more than 10 <laughs> yeah I think I have around 15 to 20 of them all from the SHV quads mostly so yeah it does looks uh in my opinion I think they looks uh very different because of the different armor so I'm just going to show you just a few that I have it outside because if I'm going to show you all the Iron Man it wouldn't fit into the screen Okay, so these four are from the SHV Quest. Of course, I have a lot more. And I would like to add on to maybe even some uh, Mayfax, which I have. And it looks, yeah, you might say that it looks very this, much the same. Even by adding on to this Comic Cave Mark 42, uh, yeah, most of you will say that they all looks very similar. But to me, they are each of a different armor. Uh, it's like an upgrade of the previous armor so eventually it become looking this good and I could be biased as well because I'm a big fan of Iron Man so to me uh, is this too much <laughs> I would say no because they all looks very different in terms of the overall look and each of them do behave differently in the movie they do have different functionality different um, weapons and things like that so for me uh, yes I would love to have all of them in a different armor and I would think that they will still look great in my collections and right up next we'll talk about my favorite characters which is spider-man so I'll start with the MCU spider-man which is this Tom Holland spider-man from the homecoming suit the very first suit then we have the upgraded suit from no way home and of course followed by this upgraded suit if I'm not wrong and also this very cool looking iron spider as well okay and we also have this black and gold suit yep from no way home as well and lastly his integrated suit again if I'm not wrong also from no way home so of course by talking about MCU spider-man we do know that in no way home there are two more spider-man which is the Toby Spider-Man as well as the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man as well and these are from the SH figure which looks very cool and nonetheless the Marvel Legends actually make their own 3-pack which also have these two very cool looking Spider-Man again if you were to ask me <laughs> whether these are actually redundant, duplicates or even unnecessary well for Spider-Man fans like me yes i do think that they are the same but as you can see both of them from different brands they looks good together i mean <laughs> it's up to you you can just collect either one of it but for me since i'm a big fan i would love to have both of the brands all together next i'd like to talk about spider wars i will start with gwen so we do have uh, some marvel legends as you can see she looks pretty good as time goes by. I think they do improve a lot. So I do have a very small tiny Mayfax as well as this very good looking SH figures. And last but not least, of course, the Sentinel Toys Spider Gwen, which is the smallest among all. So from here you can see, yeah, I think Spider Gwen is almost very identical. Even from two different movies like Across the Spider Wars and Into the Spider Wars. She didn't really change much in terms of the costume. So uh, do you really need to collect all of them? Uh, my answer is not really unless you are so much of a big fan of her. Otherwise, you can just pick a few. I think this one is a good addition because you can have her in a school uniform which looks very different as compared to the rest. And of course, <laughs> I think you can't miss this SH figures as she looks the best for now. Maybe you can just grab... Uh, just two of them or maybe add another marvel legend which looks equally good or maybe even include the main facts if you do have the budget as she looks pretty good as well and of course when we are talking about gwen how can we miss miles morales so i do have a few of him as well so this is from main facts and this is from the sentinel toys as well as this one 
from the SH figures and last but not least we do have one from the Marvel Legends again as you can see other than the scale they all looks very much the same yep so uh, do you really need to collect all of them again my answer is no uh, yeah maybe just the Sentinel toys I think is fun to play with or uh, even if you want an adult version you can grab the SH figures yeah so basically you can just have these two don't really have to collect all of them <laughs> now let's talk about the spider-man from the comic version so of course that will be some main facts so this is the uh famous 075 versions and i do have this comic paint as well and lastly i do have this latest one which is they using a much more brighter blue uh, it actually resembles more of the original comic Spider-Man which I love Actually, I do have another one which is uh, the reissue of this guy But I've actually sold it off because <laughs> it's almost very much the same as this guy <laughs> So I do I uh, left it three again oh, You can see that it's very much similar. They're just playing around with the color scheme So uh, do you really need to have all of them? I would say no again yeah so <laughs> just collect one is enough for me i think my favorite is still this guy it looks very much nicer uh, very close resemblance to the comic um yeah you don't really have to get all of them because it's practically the same and the best thing about spider-man is it always comes with so many different variances so you can see we have the symbiote spider as well we do have spider-man 2099 we do have this adult version of mouse we do have this scarlet spider which is my favorite and you can totally see the differences <laughs> among them and also these comic versions of iron spider which looks very cool with the upgrades of the tentacles from takara tony and also do have this anti-ox spider-man which looks very nice i think this is one of the coolest looking spider-man costume as well as this Spider-Man from the PS4 or PS5 game which looks pretty good as well So as you can see the best thing about Spider-Man is it actually comes with many different suits and armor and even different colors So <laughs> even though they are still Spider-Man, but I don't think anyone will ever question you about having too many Spider-Man Because they could see they are indeed pretty much different And the next two characters is from DC so I would like to bring up Superman, yep, this is one of the characters which I think I have bought quite a few. So we do have this Hush Superman followed by the Jack Snyder Superman, the Return of Superman, Cyborg Superman, and Steel. Okay, so as you can see, they are all from Mayfax and they are all very different kind of Superman. So this is one of the Superman variances that you can collect and yet it doesn't look redundant or you know unnecessary too much yeah I think it looks very good since it's all different kind of Superman in overall look and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to guess my next character in DC yes it is the Batman so I have the Christian Bale Batman from the Nolan trilogy and this Ben Affleck Batman followed by the Hush Batman and last but not least the Dark Knight Returns Batman so you can see even though they are all Batman yet they all look very different this is another character which is like Superman you can just collect each and every one of them and yet they still look good and they are all from Mayfax okay so after checking out almost all of the variances that i have for each characters in terms of action figures uh yes i do feel that i have reached the level where i would call it like too much or even unnecessary to have so many of the same characters but like i said it's very much depends on the preference of the individual like for example I'm a big fan of Iron Man, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man so I would not see them as uh, duplicates or even uh, the same because uh, for Iron Man is the different armor like Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3 and so on like Spider-Man is different because we do have uh, other Spider-Man like you know 
Miles Spider-Man or Spider-Gwen or Toby Spider-Man, Andrew Spider-Man, Tom Spider-Man, Iron Spider and things like that. So yeah, that's that's uh, my preference. But for Captain America or even Black Widow, yeah, I do see that I don't need to have like six of them because they looks almost identical. Yeah, there are some changes on the costumes here and there, but it's basically Black Widow, yeah, <laughs> or Captain America. So if you were to ask me whether it is necessary to collect, you know, so many action figures for the same characters, uh, I would say that it's very much depends on your preference. Like for example, if you are a big fan of Chris Evans, Captain America, yes, yeah, why not? I mean, you can collect all the different Captain America from SH Figuas, from Mayfax, from Marvel Legends, you name it. You can just have your whole collection as Captain America. I have seen that before. But if you are like me, that you just like, you know, one or two figures that actually reminds you of, wow, Chris Evans as Captain America, or maybe Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, yeah, then I think you don't need to, you know, buy everything <laughs> that they have released. You can just collect one or two of your favorites and you know just keep the rest so yeah i do hope that this video just gives you some insight of my preference or my point of view of the same characters but with so many different action figures and i do hope that it helps you to clear your mind <laughs> onto what you want to collect and what you can actually decide to sell and i'll catch you guys again in my next video